Today on Arsenal's story, we'll be talking about Bukayo Saka's goal against Bonma, and also what that penalty does with Kai Havertz. And finally, on that game, we'll be talking about something that I mentioned on the last podcast about Manchester City. Finally, we'll be looking at our game against Lons on the 3rd of October. Stay tuned and welcome to Arsenal's story. So you know how we like to keep this podcast, we like to keep it short and sweet. Now we're talking about Bukayo Saka's goal against Bournemouth. You could see how excited he was when he was tapping on his head or pointing to his head because he doesn't score this kind of goals often. In fact, since the time Bukayo has been with Arsenal, he scored 35 goals. And of those 35 goals, he has scored only two headers. Now, those two headers, one of them includes that one he scored against Bonmouth on Saturday. So this is to wishing Saka more goals, however he wishes to score them, whether with his left foot, with his head, or William Gallas style. Anyhow he chooses to, he's very welcome to do so. Now we're talking about Kai Havertz briefly. Um, We're hoping that that penalty he took does wonders for his confidence. And I really do like the way the club is tightly knit, knit the, the players. Um, anybody in the persons of Saka or Odegaard to taking that penalty, uh, you can see that they allowed him to take it. And let's hope that since he's opened his goal account at the Emirates, he will continue to do so and give us more goals in the future. Let's hope that this also does stuff for his confidence, increases his confidence and his um, his quality of play because if there wasn't any talent in there he would not be in the German first team or in the Germany first team and Chelsea wouldn't have bought him. Let's hope that Mikel Arteta can bring out the best in this player and hopefully we have a gem on our hand. Finally in the Carabao Cup I spoke about that loss that City had um, against Newcastle I spoke about that loss possibly causing them to have um, a chip on their shoulder or have a faltered confidence and that that seemed to be right because it seemed like they they were completely I don't want to say completely overrun now but they were for long periods of time overrun by wolves or at least um, wolves took converted the chances that they had when facing Manchester City and you need to go watch that goal again um, by Pedro Neto that run where he basically floored all of Manchester City's defence um, let's hope that they're still shaky in confidence when we meet them again in the Premier League because they are the people that we meet or the team that we meet in our next Premier League match so here's the City having bad confidence or low confidence now we meet Lons on the 3rd of October, RC Lons of the Champions League and they have won their last two matches and drawn the third. Also they sit, they sit 15th on the table in Liga, and you have a couple of pra- players that we should be wary of. Um, you have obviously the wonder kid El Ye Wahi who scored one and assisted one. And you also have the guy in the name of Florian Sotoka who is assisted three and Morgan, I'm not going to say the last name, but Morgan is a right winger and he has scored two as well as Deva Machado who is a left back um, and seems to be a goal scoring left back who has scored two as well. So, and also Sotoka has also scored one. So our job or the job of the boys will be made to make sure that these guys don't play their game and I believe we have enough quality to see them off hopefully but still let's not make the mistake that City made thinking they could go and probably walk all over Wolves I mean they basically shot um they shot Haaland down Haaland couldn't play his game I think Arteta should go watch that game and try to see what Wolves did that we can incorporate into our game against them next time we meet and we just soon so that's about it, Gunners, for this podcast. Have a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for listening. Have a good day.